Welcome to Flow of Miracles Next Step Reading. This is the reading for September 2021. As always, I will be talking about the month's energy as well as giving you three choices to see what your next step should be. Just check in the description to see when your choice is starting after listening to the month's energy. And while you listen to the month's energy, just really feel in your body if left, right, or middle is the choice for you. If you want to have a personalized reading, just email me for an intake at info at flowofmiracles.com. So let's get started and see what the month's energy is. Three of Wands Virtue. And the supporting energy is Innocent. So beautiful energy for September, which is always a month where we have to get back to work, we have to go and do things, um, and we have to leave the summer behind and start with our next step. So Tree of Wands means that the suit is wands, which is the spiritual suit, the passion, and the movement and action, which is really good energy for this coming month, because you know we all have to get back to work. Um, the tree has to do with an expansion uh, outside of ourselves, which is also really good because this is the time where we want to have uh, connections with other people again and to see ourselves become uh, more and be able to grow in a way that's good for us. Everybody is ready again to take uh, new paths and new decisions. So excellent energy to do that this month, even more um, because the fall energy coming um, nearing the end of the month will allow us to release the old and really invest in what we need to be doing. So Tree of Wands Virtue is also a card that calls upon us to see where we can be of service, where we can be um, a helpful party, uh, where we can be the ones uh, doing what's right for other people. So don't only focus on your own plans, also listen in and see where you can join in, in your social group or maybe at work, and uh, of course your spiritual path. So take some time to actually connect with that as well. It's a good month to do um, manifestation work, and the beginnings of a manifestation work. For me, a manifestation has three parts. The first one is when we ask for something. And if you want to see how I do that, uh, you can watch uh, the Creating Joy video on powerful intention. Uh, the second is where we continue um, to send out good energy for what we want. Sometimes I skip this step, especially when I'm very busy. Uh, sometimes I do this step the lazy way and just put my uh, item that symbolizes the manifestation I get and just put it somewhere where I can see it. Um, and the third step, of course, is the gratitude when it actually arrives. And these three steps are very important for me when I do manifestation work. But this month, yes, it's a good idea to start manifesting and asking what kind of ships do you want to come in? What kind of energy do you want to to receive in your life, what is it that you want? If you are thinking on anything where you need a third, for example, if you're thinking of uh, pregnancy, if you're thinking of uh, expanding a team at work, if you're thinking on adding more responsibilities, this is absolutely the time to do it, absolutely the time to tell the universe that you are ready for the next step. So this is vital. And when we are receiving, with this kind of receiving in energy, you see that the supportive energy to make this happen for you in your next step is innocence. That's because all of us carry guilt. All of us have expectations on ourselves. And because of that, we are not always able to receive what we should be receiving. So heaven is there with your ships full of gold and love and happiness. And here we are saying, well, I don't think I deserve that. Or, well, if I get that, maybe other people get jealous. Or maybe there's not enough for anybody. So it's really simple. There is enough for everybody. It's really simple. As a soul, it is your right 
to have all the good in the world. And when we see ourselves as innocent, then we can receive. Just look at how simple and innocent a baby is that we would never withhold love or attention or energy from a baby. We would be all like, what kind of horrible monster are you that you cannot you know, give that? But if we see ourselves as innocent, then we can receive. Then we're okay when those ships come in. Then we're okay with the opportunities we'll be getting this month. So any new opportunity you have that usually you're, you are like, well, I don't know. Um, this is the time to hear that it's there for you. This is the time to receive all the freebies, all the wonderful things, and just embrace them and say, yeah, that's for me. That's because I am a soul on this earth, learning and loving and enjoying and playing. So this kind of energy is wonderful. So make the most of it this month and really do that attraction work. Anything you've been dreaming of, fantasizing about, now is the time. Any old slacky things in your deservedness, time to let that go. Take that fall energy and just release that. Um, you can also do the shadow figure uh, breaking free video or uh, the guilt breaking free video uh, on the other playlist and actually start doing those exercises a couple of times to really get yourself on higher and higher levels of innocence. And you can always see when somebody is a really high level of innocence, they have this wonder in them when something happens. They have this natural um, childlike energy that's not childish. Uh, they're not immature, or, um, but they are childlike. Like, for example, Buddha energy, where you happy Buddha energy, where you can just see the joy and wonder that they feel about the world reflected in them. So I highly recommend this kind of energy and meditating with this kind of energy especially this month, really to move forward. So have a great month and allow those opportunities to, to arrive. So definitely start taking some new steps, grabbing those opportunities and working on a little releasing. Don't, 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 don't be all on your own. Really, Tree of Wands is all about teamwork. So really teamwork this month, go for it. <laughs> Allow yourself to work in groups, of course, in a corona safe way, depending on where you're from, but this will really pay off. So get out there and get things done this month. So now while well, I am shuffling for the first step, which will be the left choice, just take some time to feel which choice is right for you and then choose to click open the description and click to that timestamp. So welcome people who picked the left choice and I feel called to pick part from the middle. The left choice is nine of discs gain and the supporting healing energy available is growing Ooh, even more than uh, people who just have the month energy now is the time to grow and to gain nine of this is like a luxury card where you can enjoy your wealth and your abundance on the material plane together with growing the heart chakra is just showing that there's so much opportunities right now to grow and feel good with yourself and who you are and be that lady or gentleman um, that spirit wants you to be, that your soul wants you to be and to move forward in kindness and joy and understand that you don't have to live in a life of poverty or in a stress kind of way but that you can be playful and joyful. Uh, one of the things that I saw this last month was that a lot of people are having trouble dealing with so many different things 
and nine of discs is really also a relaxed car where you can relax in this beautiful environment you made for yourself. So this month, absolutely spend some time in beautiful environments. It could be in your own home when it's all cleaned up. It could be in the forest, on the beach, you know, somewhere where there is beauty and let it feed and nurture you and help, help you grow. Yes, this is also the month to ask for a raise or to uplift any uh, material areas of your life that could be uh, bodily uh, to start doing some uh, good luxury things like massages or relaxed exercising like yoga or swimming um, as well as um, on the material as in the monetary plane to ask for discounts and to look around and see where you can upgrade your life and improve it. So really look at that and see how much it makes your heart grow. If you feel a little bit about that and you hear that also in the month energy, uh, just check out Creating Your Own Luxury <laughs> and watch me explain why it's so important that spiritual people uh, are able to embrace the abundance of life and the luxuries of life so that we can be vibrant, full of energy, and we are able to support the people that we are called upon to support. So super wonderful um, this month to do that. So not that much work ahead, just take it slow and steady and really focus on high um, earning potential things on things that are uh, at a new level of uh, work, of career, of household stuff. It's time to let go of anything in your house that's cheap or broken or you really don't care that much anymore and go for those upgrades that you really need. So this is vital to do and to actually learn to live on this new level and become comfortable with it. And you see that naturally happening in people's lives when we're students or when we start out in entry level jobs, we're comfortable with a lot of things that are cheaper and easier. And as we progress through this life, we start seeing the wealth and the abundance and we change in our expectations and in our willingness uh, to do things and we start understanding how much abundance there is. I think it's good to understand that uh, some people are really in a mindset of not having enough and that's not really where we want to be. Or people are in a mindset that if they have something great, um, they'll be the focus of jealousy and pain. Uh, but there's also just lovingly embracing what is your God or a soul given right and just seeing how abundant life is. When you look at a forest, it is not small. It's big and vibrant and alive and everything has its place. When you look at the ocean, it's big and vibrant and alive and everything has its place. So start seeing yourself as that too as being big and vibrant and alive and having your place in the world. If you come from a background or in your family life, this is something that's normal, that people strive to have a good and comfortable life, that's great. If you come from a background that is uh, struggling and that feels that moving past a certain level is kind of uppity and arrogant, really take some time to release this kind of things, behaviors and thoughts, um, because this is not right. We should all live in a wonderful life. This is what's right for everybody. So lovely energy. I hope you enjoy your month. The do's are do make yourself comfortable, do upgrade your life, do go for a new level. Uh, don't do it all on your own. Don't get stuck in old patterns and don't get stuck in deservedness. So enjoy your months and create something beautiful.
So welcome people who picked the right side, the right choice, and the right path. And I am being called to take a card, so my name's N, and that is this one. Let's see what energy is available. Oh, Nine of Swords, cruelty. And the supporting energy is energetic. Funnily enough, the first thing that comes to mind on Nine of Swords and energetic is that it's really important to watch your sleep as well. If you're sleeping badly, um, or if you're prone to bad sleep, really make sure that you keep an eye on your energy levels. If you're too energetic in the evening, you won't be able to sleep. Um, and then you'll get um, usually a broken morning and people use all kinds of stimulants like coffee uh, to keep themselves upright. And then it breaks the natural rhythm. So September in the change from the summer where we tend to have more energy and more light towards the fall where we have less light and usually less energy can be a bit rough on you. If you know that and you know that you have troubles also dealing with less light, always make sure you book a holiday in the fall or the winter if you can swing it or get some light therapy or if that's also not available to you just do some things that allow you to get more natural light. Just take a walk in the afternoon on your lunch break or sit outside. Even when it's colder, the amount of light and vitamin D will lift you. So also um, acupuncture can be a really good thing. <laughs> when I always think about acupuncture when I see this card. So as a next step, Nine of Swords, is about um, checking your fears, looking at where your fears and your worries are, uh, keeping your head spinning and keeping you in the energy you don't want and don't need. We all have fears. We all have worries. We all have sleepless nights. But are you indulging in them? And are you using those fears and anxieties to keep you from moving forward? Or are you actually checking them? Are you actually saying like, hey, I'm really nervous about tomorrow's meeting. You know, what's the worst that can happen? Um, why am I so upset or maybe even nauseated from how worried I am when the worst that can happen is I vomit. And you know what? It can happen. So being able to check your fears is a maturity level on the emotional plane where we can accept that we have certain kind of emotions, accept the messages they bring, but still move upward from that feeling. And this is different than suppressing them because when you suppress your emotions, you'll start feeling very uncomfortable and they explode in a later moment in your life. Um, but when you lift above them, that means that you accept, yeah, I'm pretty nervous for tomorrow. And then you do something kind and loving to yourself, uh, which might be giving yourself a pep talk or calling a friend for some support or making yourself a really nice sleepy time cup of tea and say, okay, I'm really nervous, but I'm going to survive this. That is uplifting yourself out of a difficult emotion. So this month, this is really something to practice and make your next step to actually see where you talk yourself out of decisions that are actually good for you, out of fear, out of worries, and where you're spending this worry, nervous energy. If you're spending it all the time, every day, this is really killing for your energy levels. It's really killing for who you want to be. So it's very important that you move outward from that. And to understand that these energy levels are vital this month to actually deal with this Three of Wands energy, because it's energy on energy. Three of Wands means that we can be looking forward with a positive outlook, with opportunities, but it also means that we can look for a negative outlook, for when we are worried about what the future is going to bring. Spend more energy on the now. Spend more energy on forgiving yourself for the past and learning your lessons and then just wait for the future to arrive because it always will. So definitely do's and don'ts this month are do, 
check your emotions, do check your energy levels, uh, do understand that you have to move through fear. The more you do something that you're afraid of and it works out fine, the less afraid you're gonna be. The more you let your fear control you, the less likely you are to do something and the less likely you are um, to ever do it because the fear just builds and builds. Um, asking some support for that is fine. You don't have to do it on your own. So it's time to get out there and do those things that have been on your to-do list for a long time that you're too scared or self-conscious about. Move forward. And then you'll have a really great and energetic life and a really wonderful month, even though this cruelty card is not looking so pretty. And that's okay, because sometimes we need to look at things that aren't so pretty so we can fix things and move forward in joy. So good luck with that. And if you need some support, you know where to find me. So welcome people who pick the middle path. And I am drawing a card uh, for people who pick the middle path. I'm, I'm shuffling in a way that is a little less than I normally do because I placed the camera on a different spot. <laughs> but I'm sure you're all willing to wait another two seconds until I am called to pick this card for the middle path. Five of Cups, Disappointment, and the supporting energy from the Positivity Oracle is Talented. This is of course, not the easiest card to see. Uh, we don't like being disappointed. Nobody likes being disappointed. We all like to feel joyful and happy and to get our rewards and opportunities. One of the things that we need to understand is no matter how talented we are, sometimes things fall. Maybe it's not the right audience. Maybe it's not the right time. Maybe you woke up with the flu and you decided to do it anyway. And to understand that whenever something doesn't go the way we want, we need to release the pain and the heartbreak and the disappointment, learn a lesson and move on. Because when we get stuck in disappointment, it means that we no longer have a healthy emotional flow. We no longer have motivation to make changes in our life. We no longer have um, the interest in taking a new opportunity and that is not the way it should be and this is really something that i have to tell people a lot and say look even when you live your soul path even when you walk your spiritual journey there are going to be disappointed there's going to be disappointed because we all have expectations and sometimes what we want and what we expect to happen isn't what's the best for us and that is super disappointing <laughs> And it's so human to be mad and have this little emotional tantrum, but we shouldn't stick in there. Especially because then we walk away from our talents. The more painful our disappointment and heartbreak, the more we walk away from our talents. And it means that we're only harming ourselves. We think we're winning because we're angry at spirit or God, but in fact we're losing. And it's really good to know that because in a three of wands month, as we're getting, you'll have lots of opportunities and not all of those opportunities will give you what you want. And that is okay. Uh, you need to make your peace with that and understand that as talented as you are, you do need to learn how to deal with disappointment and you do need to look at the good in everything. And that isn't always easy and that's okay. So just when you have a disappointment this, this month, just tell yourself, okay, it sucks. Take a deep breath, be nice to yourself, and five minutes later say, what did I learn from this? And how am I gonna make the next opportunity better? And that is perfect for what is right for you. Um, it takes some practice to go in there. Maybe you need more than five minutes before you can move from your pain to your gain, um, but do it. 
And the more often you do it, the easier it gets to deal with disappointment, the easier it gets to understand that nothing is truly negative in this world. And I'm always trying to tell people that, um, but when you're in your pain, we don't hear that. And that is why I always, always, always encourage people to step out of your pain so you can. And that's hard, but you know, if it was easy, everybody would do it and nobody would be <laughs> desperately disappointed. So if this is part of your learning journey, uh, I say grab it by the horns, uh, do it this month because else you'll be disappointed later on that you didn't grab those opportunities that came your way because you were too busy mourning the ones you didn't get. So this is vital for you. And I uh, would challenge you to do that. So this month, the don'ts are very clear. Don't stay in your pain. Don't stay in this disappointment. Uh, don't focus on everything you don't have or it's not working. Do focus on your lessons. Do focus on what is working. Do focus on how you can do better so you can grow. And stay confident in your talent. Stay confident in your talent. The only reason we hear from people that are successful is because they stay confident in their talent. I mean, very good business people uh, once went bankrupt. Some talented people in the arts, uh, like writers, had uh, 30 or 40 or 60 rejections and they still kept on writing and they still kept on confident in their talent and saying, hey, I have something to say. And even though I have all these disappointments, I believe in myself, I believe in my talent, I believe in my calling, and keep on doing it. Keep on putting yourself out there. And I know it's hard. Um, it was easy, everybody would be doing it. I know it's hard, but it's worth it. So really focus this month on what you can improve in your emotional life so that your spiritual calling that the tree of wands is bringing and your blessings and your gifts can actually arrive and really focus on your talent and how wonderful it is i always tell people if something is your talent you should be enjoying the benefits like if you're a really talented painter uh, but nobody ever sees your paintings you'll have very little benefit i mean you can look at them yourself if you go out there yeah you'll have some people making really disappointing remarks but you will also have a lot more blessings because people are going to buy your paintings, people are going to talk about your paintings in a good way as well, and you will grow and understand the benefits of your talent. So this is vital to do that and to actually let the benefits of your talents move you forward. And that means having to deal with disappointment. That means having to actually learn and move through that and understanding that a disappointment only arrives when we have expectations. If you don't expect people to love your work, it's okay if they don't. If you don't expect people to be really enthusiastic about the same things, it's okay if there aren't. So the less expectations we have, the less disappointments we have. And also the expectations on yourself, if you accept that you don't always get what you want, then there's less problem, especially if we trust that heaven is bringing the best possible gifts. So practice your trust this month, work through your disappointments, and you will see that your blessings will arrive. Enjoy your month and hope to see you again. So don't forget to subscribe.